It was a warm sunny day and Kate was finally meeting her long lost brother Ted. They had lunch together and then they decided to head to the park like old times. Kate was driving on the highway and about to text the next exit so she started to slow down. But her car didn't slow down, it actually went faster. She kept applying the brakes as hard as she could and even pulled the emergency brake but nothing worked. Before she knew it, her car ended up in the ditch and the last words that she heard were Mommy, mommy, I am scared. Two days later, Kate woke up at the hospital and learned that her three-year-old daughter Emma and Ted were dead. She felt extremely guilty and was convinced that if only she had done one thing differently, they would still be alive. However, all the evidence from the crime scene, including the 50 meters of skid marks that her car left, showed that she did everything she possibly could. So what happened? The truth is, when you drive your car, you're not the only one who takes the decisions. There is software between you and mechanical components. So when you press a pedal, a sensor detects how far the pedal is placed and then sends a signal to control software that then opens or closes the throttle. And that's what killed Kate's favorite people. The software in her car never closed the throttle. Now, this can also happen with pacemakers, airplanes, power plant controllers, and other devices that, ha that have software and hardware. Now, when software malfunctions on your iPhone, it's inconvenience. But when software kills a person, that's a big deal. My research is about building safe and reliable software for critical devices. In order to do this, I combine advanced mathematical concept with modeling and simulation. Advanced mathematical concepts help to verify the system properties in a more thorough fashion. Modeling and simulation, on the other hand, is about representing the real system with mathematical models and then studying their behavior in an extensive way, which is often not possible in the real world or is too risky. So that horrific scenario that Kate lived or other dangerous potential scenarios can be studied in a virtual world without no one being in danger. Therefore, the resulting software is not only based on a strict mathematical foundation, it has also gone through thorough testing. In this way, we will be able to catch the software faults before they get to you. Because ultimately, it's about you never having to be Kate. It's about you never having to be a software fault victim. And finally, it's about telling Kate that we didn't forget Emma and Ted, and that we are building software to which we can all entrust our lives to. Thank you.